Hey guys, this is Josh Leeger from liftjoshleeger.com and um, I wanted to share with you some of the things I learned at the Dynamic Neuromuscular Stabilization Seminar uh, that I hosted here in Seattle um, in January. So the first piece of DNS is uh, understanding um, the stabilization function of the diaphragm and of breathing. When you breathe in, your diaphragm presses down into your abdominal contents, which press out against the muscles of your abdomen, your core muscles, right? And those, there's a myotatic stretch reflex, which when a muscle gets stretched, it contracts. So when those muscles are get pressed out by the diaphragm as it presses down when you breathe in, this comes out and stretches and then tightens, or it should, right? And it goes for your pelvic floor as well. So if you're familiar with Kegels or Kegels, um, that's an uh, intentional way to activate the pelvic floor. But that, that activation happens as well when the diaphragm presses down and hits you know, the abdominal contents press down um, into the pelvic floor and the pelvic floor contracts and holds, right? So the first part of um, the DNS um, process, I guess, not in the uh, elicitation of the reflex responses, which is a different thing, is to be able to breathe well. So the first step is put your hands on the fleshy part between your uh, hip bones and your ribs. So you can feel all the way around in a circle here. And at first, learn how to press out there. So you want this, if you can see my hands moving laterally, right? In a circle. I mean, you, you really want the whole circle to expand, because what that means is your diaphragm is pressing down. That's the only way you can do that. Um, you can get the sides to go out if you suck your stomach in, but that's not the activation that you want. You want to feel that whole ring expand, okay? So that's step one, is to be able to do that. If you can't do that, practice that until you can get it. And at first it might be light, and you know, whatever. Dig in a little bit, see if you can help stimulate yourself. You might notice some um, imbalance on one side or another. So practice that first. Once you can do that, practice holding that uh, contraction. So you don't want to press out as far as you can. You want to press out a little bit and hold. You want to be able to isometrically hold that. That's the stabilization function um, of the core musculature. So I can hold that out and then begin to breathe through my ribs. Okay, so my ribs now are expanding in a circular fashion. Um, and maybe even more laterally than they are forward or backward, okay? But you want to be able to hold this um, isometric contraction and then begin to breathe into your rib cage. And once you can get that, you can hold that isometric contraction in the, in the uh, uh, core musculature and breathe in the rib cage and the whole thing will expand and contract slightly, okay? So now you have this whole cylinder that's acting as a stabilization unit. That's step one.